Good morning, friends, and welcome to Morning Pray. There is a hymn to get the soul stirred on a Friday morning, isn't it? Now, we are in Friday of week three of the Psalter, so we start on page 590. And our hymn this morning is, We Bless You, Father, Lord of Life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim thy praise. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs. Let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. We bless you, Father, Lord of life, to whom all living beings tend, the source of holiness and grace, our first beginning and our end. We give you thanks, redeeming Christ, who bore our weight of sin and shame. In dark defeat you conquered sin, and death by dying overcame. Come, Holy Spirit, searching fire, whose flame all evil burns away. Come down to us with light and love, in silence and in peace to stay. We praise you, Trinity in one, sublime in majesty and might, who reign forever, Lord of all, in splendor and unending light. Against you alone have I sinned. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offence. But wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Holocausts offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Against you alone have I sinned. Lord, have mercy on me. We know our offences, Lord. We have sinned against you. Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is smitten with a great wound, with a very grievous blow. If I go out into the field, behold those slain by the sword. And if I enter the city, behold the diseases of famine. For both prophet and priest ply their trade through the land, and have no knowledge. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Does your soul loathe Zion? Why have you smitten us, so that there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but no good came, for a time of healing, but behold, terror. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your name's sake. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We know our offences, Lord. We have sinned against you. The Lord is God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is God, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me. I am content with weakness, insult, hardship, persecutions and difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. In the morning let me know your love. Make me know the way I should walk. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. We have a high priest able to sympathize with us in our weakness, one who, because of his likeness to us, has been tempted in every way, but did not sin. Let us pray to him. Lord, for the joy which lay in the future, you willingly went to the cross. Make us share your death, so that we may also share your joy. Lord, you said, Let any man who thirsts come to me and drink. Give your spirit now to those who thirst for you. 
you sent your disciples to preach the gospel to every nation. Bless those men and women who devote their lives to preaching the gospel today. Help those in pain to know that the Father cares for them, for he loves them as he loves his own Son. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, let your light so penetrate our minds, that walking by your commandments we may always follow you, our leader and guide. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Mass will start in about five minutes.
O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, dear friends. For all of these that have made it here in a boat, I think, this morning. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our own sins and transgressions. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Please sit. Our first reading this morning is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. So many others have been boasting of their worldly achievements that I will boast myself. But if anyone wants some brazen speaking, I am still talking as a fool. Then I can be as brazen as any of them and about the same things. Hebrews, are they? So am I. Israelites, so am I. Descendants of Abraham, so am I. The servants of Christ, I must be mad to say this, but so am I. And I more than they, more because I have worked harder. I have been sent to prison more often and whipped so many times more, almost to death. Five times I had the 39 lashes from the Jews. Three times I have been beaten with sticks. Once I was stoned. Three times have I been shipwrecked. And once adrift in the open sea for a night and a day, constantly traveling. I have been in danger from rivers and in danger from brigands, in danger from my own people and in danger from pagans, in danger in the towns, in danger in the open country, danger at sea and danger from so-called brothers. I have worked and labored often without sleep. I have been hungry and thirsty and often starving. I have been in the cold without clothes and to leave out much more There is my daily preoccupation, my anxiety for all the churches. When any man has had scruples, I have had scruples with them. When any man is made to fall, I am tortured. If I am to boast, then let me boast of my own feebleness. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make it boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up treasures for yourself on earth, where moths and woodworms destroy them and thieves can break in and steal. But store up treasures for yourselves in heaven, 
where neither moth nor woodworms destroy them, and thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of our body is the eye. It follows that if your eye is sound, the whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be darkness. If, then, the light inside you is darkness, what darkness there will be. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit. You know, I often talk uh, and preach uh, about the light of Christ within us, and specifically about that spark that we are born with, that spark of God inside us. And in our life, we choose to either feed that spark or not. What I don't preach on very often is what happens when you smother that spark. And you can smother the spark. You can take the love that God has given you. You can take that light within you and put so much stuff on top of it that it can no longer be seen. And our gospel today in Matthew speaks of what happens when that occurs. When you pile so much stuff on top of God inside you that there is darkness. What Jesus is telling us in our gospel today is that we should concentrate on allowing that light to grow within us. We should concentrate on allowing that love of God to flourish and bloom and grow within us and to direct us in all things. What we should be careful of is that we don't start collecting things in this life that smother that light. Money, power, ego, pride. The moment you start putting anything before God, you start smothering that light. So today's sermon is a warning. Don't smother the light of God within you by piling on top of it things that are not of God. Amen. Let us now hold ourselves before God, our Almighty Father, in prayer praying for his holy church, his body here on earth, and for our leaders, for Pope Francis, for Bartholomew, the ecumenical patriarch, and Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury. We pray for Sarah, Bishop of London, and Jonathan, our bishop. We pray also for the Church of England communications team. We pray today uh, for the parish of St. Giles in Ickenham, and Felicity Davis and Navina Thompson, their new curate. We pray, too, for my dear brother and friend, Father Sam McNally Cross. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who are in need of love and support, those who are struggling to see the light of God in their life. We pray that you can lift from them the darkness and defend them from all ill will. We pray particularly for Yolanda de Gale, for Sister Angela, Helen Holman, Beryl Higgs, Norma Piggott, Renee Holman, June Borton, Verity Thompson, Daniel Sibley, Wayne Campbell, Ivor, Maxine and Megan, Gary Savile, Anthony and Greta, for Madge and for her family. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the souls of the departed, for those who've died this night without access to priest or sacrament, for those who have died around the world proclaiming your holy name, for those torn from the womb, and for those whose anniversary of death falls today, for Sonia Newell. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. We pray for our nation and for the world, for Her Majesty the Queen, for Boris, our Prime Minister, for John, our MP, for Janet, John and Scott, our local ward councillors, for all in authority over us that we may be quietly and godly governed. Lord, in your mercy. And we turn to Our Lady, to our Mother and our Queen, and we ask her to pray for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to set before it. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to bring before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold nature of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Justin, our Archbishop, Jonathan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever Amen. With the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who comes to take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. Dear friends, joining us from home, now is the time to make your spiritual communion. Turn to Jesus today, open your heart, invite him in, and be made strong in him.
Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you. So may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, dear friends, we're back again together now on Sunday for Father's Day to celebrate the role of fathers in our life and in our society. And we must think about those examples of fatherly life, uh, fatherly love in our life. See you on Sunday. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down on you today and remain with you always. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.